this should be um, quite the experience here. I'm gonna grab a few tools out of the workshop and then I'm gonna head down to the farmhouse where I've got my lumber and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm building and uh, get started. Uh, wish me luck. Got my tools and I'm about to start my project. I'm gonna show you guys the wood, the lumber that I just got at Lowe's. Um, and the project that I'm starting, I've never done this before, but I am building a tree stand, but not just a regular tree stand. It's gonna be like the box blind style where you've got the platform and the enclosed shooting area. Um, I'm using some four by four posts that are 12 feet high. I got some plywood for the floor, which I'm not sure if I will get to that yet today, but um, my main goal today, this, this whole thing's probably gonna take me like a week to do because I am not an expert builder. Uh, you guys saw about a year and some change ago, I picked up a drill for the first time. So don't be discouraged if you don't have building skills like me you can still do something like this. I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but I am gonna get this done <laughs> and it probably won't be the only one that I build. So um, today I'm basically just going to be building the base like platform for where I'm gonna be building the walls up and everything like that next, um, the floor. So I got some two by sixes for that and I'm just gonna Put them together and then lay the floor joists in as well and my brackets um instead of digging holes for the posts which is virtually impossible up where i want to put this thing because the ground is just solid rock so digging holes was just it would have been torture so i decided um i did a little research and i found these brackets that you can use um so that your posts just kind of sit on the ground but these brackets will hook on to your two by sixes and then your post will slide into that and they are kind of at an angle i think it's like an eight degree angle so they come out a little bit it's not straight up and down so it won't go anywhere so i thought that was awesome those won't be here until tomorrow though so i can't hook the posts to the um bottom base platform yet but i'm trying to get one thing done at a time so let's get started elo's about to have a heart attack he just ran all the way up to the workshop then ran back down while i was in there and then he ran back up when i was leaving and then back down and that is a steep like mountain <laughs> So he's dying right now. So I forgot to tell you guys the size that I'm making this blind. It's gonna be five feet by five feet, uh, which I feel like is plenty big for me and maybe another person, I don't know, but I didn't wanna make it too big. So, you know, it's always a good excuse. It's, oh, sorry, my blinds are not big enough for two, but no, I'm just kidding. Not really, but yeah, five by five it is. Um, I feel like that's gonna be a good, a good size to be able to move around in maybe cook up some breakfast in the morning and be able to you know use my crossbow in there as well as rifle whatever the season i am not a professional construction builder so excuse me if my terminology is not correct but in my mind as long as it makes sense that's all that matters so <laughs> these are two two by sixes by tens and I'm gonna be cutting them in half, so I'll have four five foot long pieces. I'm gonna get the, <laughs> I'm gonna get the skill saw and get to cutting. All right, y'all, I got me my darn uh, horse saws set up. <laughs> my mom says horse saws and I can't stop saying it now. They're seahorses, right? Those things? <laughs> seahorses. Oh, me. How hard could it really be? How hard? We will see. I know that there is a special way to use these seahorses. Um, a lot of people have told me that you really only use one and you, you cut from the end that it's, that it's hanging off of, which I may try to do that, but if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel right internally for me doing it that way, then I'm gonna cut it right in between them. And you know what? I guarantee you, whichever way I, I do it, it will work. The result will be, be the same. So just letting you guys know, 
that I do things a little bit differently here on this channel sometimes. So first I need to measure where five feet is. That cute little thing. He blends perfectly in with the deck. Wow. Look how cute. You guys are not going to believe this, but in that last clip of me cutting the board in the middle, I don't think it showed because my phone literally overheated the second that I was cutting it. But you're going to have to trust me that it was perfectly smooth like butter. And I don't know. I just like cutting them in the middle. So <laughs> it definitely worked better like that for me than the first attempt. But here's what I got going on now. I've got my four pieces of uh, wood here ready to assemble. I am using some exterior wood screws. These are 10 by 4 inch screws. They're pretty big. So I'm hoping that they'll hold up being that this thing will be outside. Ah, sweaty. Check this out. I got me a square platform, baby. Woohoo! My future deer slayer floor. Check it out. Yes, Lord. All right, now here comes the fun part. This was not hard so far whatsoever. The next part, though, <laughs> being that I'm terrible at math, um, I gotta put at least two floor joists in there. I'm gonna do it. One of the most important parts of a project, especially a building project for me, is to celebrate the small accomplishments, the small steps as I go. That's right. Y'all see it, that's right. Instead of doing some sort of math equation to figure out how long these joists needs to be to fit perfectly in there, I'm just going to use these as a template and mark on that piece of wood so that they fit in there perfectly. I'm going to use this board running right there as a template because it fits perfectly inside each of those end pieces and I will cut two pieces off of that board as a template right there. moment of truth. <laughs> it fits! Yes! <laughs> Please be tight fit. Oh yeah, baby! That'll work! <laughs> Alright, now we need to latch them on. <laughs> I'm going to put these joists either 12 or 16 inches apart so that when I put my plywood on the top I will know exactly where they are so I don't put more screws where there are already screws um, but I'm also going to be paying attention to where I'm planning on putting those brackets for the 4x4 posts because those are going to be using lag bolts 
Um, so I'm gonna need no screws in that area whatsoever where I'm gonna be putting these brackets. Yeah, let me go ahead and measure this out. So each bracket is gonna go on this side, four of them, one, two, three, and four. So really, let's see, 12 inches would be too close to where I need to put that bracket. So I'm gonna put these at 16. I need a stick or this leaf. I could put one right here. And then, where was I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you guys. Elo. What are you doing? No, I don't want your squeaky. <laughs> All right, you guys. I have finished. Why does he do this? Why do you do this? Why? <laughs> okay. One more. Ready? Dang, there's a yellow jacket. Okay. All right. Yellow jacket and Elo. Relax. I'm trying to film the outro to today's video. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that I did finish uh, the floor. Gosh. I put the joists in. Everything's looking good. Um, I cannot do really anything else today because I need to get some more lumber. And he's back. What was it? You crazy. <laughs> so yes, today's little project, it did not take very long. <laughs> it was pretty easy. Um, it was definitely a good warm up to get back into like the tools building thing since I haven't done this in a while. So tomorrow, oh my gosh, tomorrow at some point, uh, I'm hoping it's early enough. Elo. I'm hoping it's early enough tomorrow that I get my... Uh, my post brackets in so that I can get this thing up to the location. Let me fix this. So I hope that my post brackets get here tomorrow um, early enough so that I can come over here and get this thing at the location and flip it upright. Uh, so if they don't, then I'll be finishing this Monday, but tomorrow I can at least get the rest of the lumber for the walls and the ceiling roof situation. So I have a feeling that the walls and the roof is going to take me a while. I'm not sure. Maybe not, but it's going to take some figuring out because I have to do window cutouts and the door, um, a slanted roof, all of that, which I've never done before. So learning experience uh this is definitely oh shoot this is definitely not a a woodworking teaching channel at all but if you guys are inexperienced or beginners or just kind of like watching me learn things the hard way then this is probably a pretty entertaining video but i'm hoping that the end result is awesome and getting to sh shoot a deer hopefully a nice buck out of this thing come fall will be Ooh, so nice. So here it is, pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think, Elo? What do you think? Are you amazed that your mommy built this so far? I am. So yeah, there it is. That's that's the platform. That's the base of the project right there. Welcome back to day two of the Deer Blind platform stand build things went pretty smoothly with the base the floor of this thing and i had to wait on the elevator brackets to get here i ordered them online oh they're heavy elevator brackets so they called for these special hex bolts so i got these they're five sixteenths two and a half inches long i also got some of these um nuts to go on the other end I could not find my drill bits. I have never used either of these. Um, one of my subscribers, or two of my subscribers sent me 
these. So thank you guys so much. I'm glad I finally found these and I'm sure that it's got the size in there that I need. So I'm gonna drill the holes first and um, then just slide those bolts in there. And yeah, hopefully everything goes that smoothly. They are labeled, which is so nice. 516 right here. That's the one we want. And yes, I did finally get an impact driver. You guys saw this in the last clip. I was doing the floor, but I mean, I've come a long way, you guys. <laughs> On this channel, you guys witnessed me using a drill for the first time. And honestly, when y'all were mentioning an impact driver, I thought that that was a, like some sort of an attachment that you put on a drill. So now that I have found out what an impact driver is, my life will forever be easier. How the f uh oh. All right, problem number one has already occurred but i just fixed it so this is the drill that i originally learned how to use and this is the new impact driver well i can't find an attachment or any way to put this 5 16th drill bit in here so looks like the winner of this situation is the ryobi for the drilling um it's got the adjustable tip and this tip would not fit in there. So, yeah, all right, we got it figured out. So anyways, let's open up these elevator brackets. These sweat bees need to just go on and mine their bees now. Okay, doka. So here's what they look like. Big, heavy, clunky duty. These are made out of steel. Like I explained the last time, I think I explained this, the reason that I'm using these is so that I do not have to dig holes for these four by four posts because the ground up there is just solid rock and your girl is not trying to put herself through that much torture. Um, so yeah, my screws are going into this two by six this way. So I planned it out so that I can put these elevator brackets right here without worrying about having any screws uh, get in the way. Elevator brackets kind of go at an angle outwards. It's like an eight degree angle so that it's not just, they're not gonna be standing straight up and down they're gonna be kind of uh, angled out, which helps it have more stability. Okay, dokie. So many bugs out here. Welcome to the wild. Um, okay, so these elevator brackets recommend that, that you uh, secure them about an inch and a half from the corner. So I'm just gonna measure, make sure they're all even and then I'm gonna drill the holes. Inch and a half, babe. Time to drill some holes. One hole drilled. <laughs> you mind if I put this piece of wood? No. Drill. 
I was assuming that these hex bolts were going to just kind of slide right in because it's the same size as the hole that I drilled. But I am used to things going awry. I went ahead and I got one of these thingamajiggers, which is a nut setter. So it's got one of these pain in the butt to open, but I'll show it to you guys. So it's got one of these tips on it, heads on it, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, for the impact driver. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Woohoo! Yeah. And this part is not very entertaining. I'm literally just screwing nuts on and bolts. Ah. Nuts and bolts, babe, and nuts and bolts. I cannot believe how much some of these, um, these bolts and stuff were, like, literally just ridiculously expensive like i think 17 bucks for 10 and then the other ones i did get screws um to go like bolt screws hex bolt screws to go into the posts because i felt like it would hold better and um yeah that the one box of those was like 50 dollars. so material prices are just insane but these are stainless steel, so they will hold up really well in the outdoor elements. Woo! All right, you guys, I am burning up. The humidity level here is just insane. So I got the brackets on all good. That was easy. Um, but my helper, my mom, just left literally just left me so she says it's too late to be doing this she'll help me tomorrow no way that i can do this myself this next step which is to haul this up to the spot where i'm putting this this stand and the four by fours and then attach the four by fours to the elevator brackets and then attempt to flip it over so i'm definitely gonna need her help with this part one step closer to having an awesome deer blind but yeah have seen quite a few nice bucks so far um kind of in their little bachelor groups hanging out even saw two of them like kissing each other it was kind of cute i was like wow they have a better love life than i do right now so <laughs> that's always fun <laughs> I'm just kind of hiking around. Looks like there might be some little bedding areas in here. You can kind of see. A lot of stuff matted down. Lots of trails here. Obviously, you can see one right there in front of me. And also, another one through there.
situation here. whatever you want to call them over here if y'all have any idea how to get rid of these things they are spreading like wildfire please let me know in the comments y'all it is so hot <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sweating but i just got to this little area where there's a natural spring system so the ground is always moist stuff grows really well back here um, and I have not tilled this, I haven't mowed it, I haven't touched it, but I have some leftover seed here, um, that I got from a local seed and feed place, and I'm gonna tell you guys what all is in here, but I figured, you know what, I'm not gonna just let this go to waste, um, I might as well just throw some out down here and see if it grows. So, um, there is... 
uh, cowpea, buckwheat, millet, sunflower, uh, lesbadiza, rape, turnip, radish. So, sounds pretty good. But I just, I do know that this is a good spot because you never have to worry about um, it not getting enough rain because it's just always damp and moist down here. So, I'm going to kind of circle this little area and just toss out some of the seed. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It honestly looks like bird seed. But... <laughs> Let's not get it in the four-wheeler. Actually, funny story, I did drop some in the four-wheeler not too long ago, and literally it started sprouting, like, from the dirt in between the cracks of the floor in here. So, this stuff does grow pretty good. But let me show you guys this little, um, area. So, as you can see, there's yet another autumn olive bush right in the middle of this thing. They're spreading everywhere over here. The spring runs underground all the way down right there, eventually down to the pond. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of cover this whole little area with this seed. This is not the best way to do this, but like everything else, just hope for the best. Any of that I feel like it's all just going to go. It should be out that way.